In Six Sigma, we talk about uh, ANOVA, or analysis of variance. But how do we analyze, uh, anal analyze means? And so the ANOM chart, analysis of means, is a way to do that. Now control charts normally show performance over time, but the ANOM chart will assist you in comparing uh, groups like an operator, or it could be different machines, or it could be different sites, or different suppliers, and determining, you know, what is the performance here. And you can see we actually have a control limit that's calculated as well. So here's some data. This is bursting strength by operator. And in the QI macros, simply click on the QI macros tab. Down under the pull down menu, you'll discover that uh, there's an ANOM chart. And so now we just click on that. It'll ask you for a numeric alpha value, and 0.05 is our kind of our standard significance. It'll ask if you want to group this by row or by column. In this case, we want to do columns. And it'll go ahead and analyze performance of these seven operators. And here you can see that operator 6 and operator 7 are out of control. And everybody else appears to be within control. And so we might go investigate these as special causes of that performance behavior. And so the analysis of means chart can assist us in detecting you know, are there really differences between various suppliers? Uh, in healthcare, we could compare various doctors and how long they take to do a surgery or, you know, whatever it might be. And so the analysis of means chart will assist you in doing that kind of work. And you can order a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.